Welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. As promised, I'm in Geneseo here. It's cold, it's a little windy, and it has been raining, but right now we have no rain. I think it's finals week right now at the, at the college, so there's no one else here on the course. I'm gonna be doing a challenge here. The challenge is, how many mulligans will it take for me to play through this nine hole layout? All birdies. So there's a couple of holes I think this might take a couple tries on. I think I can get through it with a decently low number. Uh, I haven't played this in a while. It is wet. There's no tee pad, so maybe tee shots won't be that great. Uh, but yeah, let's just get to it. All right, hole one's gonna require a pretty big tee shot. Gonna try to hire one up there. I'm not gonna take it unless it's close, cause it's not an easy putt on that hill. I rolled down the hill. Another Halo Destroyer. I think I want to give it like a ton of height so it crashes in at the basket. Perfect. All right, one mulligan for hole one. Super happy with that. This one's just straight up. Got to try and get far. Um, What's it at 317 and super uphill? But I think I should be able to put it close to the basket and not use very many mulligans. Hopefully none. Didn't read the wind. Did not turn over. That looked good, perfect. All right, two mulligans on two holes here. I think the wind is going to push me up the hill, a little bit right to left, so I'm going to try and just put a mid-range up the right side. Hopefully I don't have to go for the forehand, I think I can just push something up on the right. So I shouldn't have to use a mulligan on this one. Okay, I guess I have to because that didn't get stable at all, a little came in instead. I think I got lucky, but I'm going to take it. First one ended up being actually pretty good, but I ended up going with the mulligan, so I got a pretty long putt. Hopefully, no mulligans here. We'll see. It's windy. Tuck it a little bit. That's just one, though. Just one. There's a pretty stiff headwind downhill. You got to be really careful because you can get down that hill pretty fast. I'm going to try Toro forehand. I think it'll stand up and then go back to the basket. Hopefully I don't overshoot it. Got to put this one close. Oh no. Pig this time. It looked okay, but I don't think it's close enough. The headwind's doing too much. All right, let's try something different. I'm gonna go backhand on the right side. It didn't turn over at all. All right, same thing with the Cayman, I guess. Look at this. All right, I got one more try. I'm just not getting close on any of these. <laughs> Hold on. All right, a bunch of those ended up being actually fine. I'm going to go with my last one, which is going to have me ended up having like six more mulligans, but super windy, so what can you do? Um, this ended up being probably the best putt anyways. God, this wind is making it tough. I have a feeling my mulligans are not stopping at just those tee shots. Because this is a straight right to left crosswind putt and like 45, 50 footer. That took me way too many mulligans and it is much windier than when I started now. All right, I have a feeling that these numbers are gonna start getting real high because 
This weather's not getting any better. It is getting windier. This is just a big hyzer, way uphill again. So, you know, same as all of them. Gotta put it close. Give myself an easier putt. I'm just gonna go with it, you know what? It's gotta be kinda close. All right, I am not doing myself any favors because now I gotta make another long putt. This one's downwind though, not crosswind. So I should be able to make it in fewer tries. Come on. That makes up for those other ones. All right, I have a hard time setting up my camera for this one, but it is a straight downhill turnover into a big headwind, so gonna be tough to get a birdie out of this. Uh, might take a couple shots. Okay, editor Tyler coming in here to say a few things. So first of all, I ran to go get my mid-range, which I forgot after hole four. Made the putt first try with the mid-range, and then my camera blew over from the wind and the unstable ground. The camera survived, the microphone survived, but unfortunately the cord that was plugged into it did get bent, so there is no more audio in any of the clips for the rest of this. So I'm going to just do some voiceover for the rest of this video. So I'm throwing into like a stiff headwind here, trying to turn over some mid-ranges. Uh, not working out so good. Threw some T-Birds as well. I ended up picking up an eagle for a bit more stability. Hit a branch. Ended up right under the basket, so easy tap in there. And yeah, that's me talking to a camera with no microphone. Then we're on to hole seven. You can kind of see this just go right in the middle there. Uh, I miss low because I'm bad. And then I make it just barely. Hole eight, got to throw a big bomb. Uh, kind of a tough one, got to get close. It's like 400 basically because it's uphill. But I end up throwing a pretty decent drive, which puts me fairly close. And I go to make the putt, and I go, oh, my camera's not recording, even though it is. And I turn it off. But I made the putt. So, yeah, and that's me walking away. So, choose to believe me or not. But I made it. Now, on the hole nine, I slip pretty bad on that first one. And then after that, I'm just so tired. Nothing's going my way. Over and over bad shots. Here's me complaining about my hands being wet and cold and it being windy and me slipping. I try to step a little further forward, still having trouble, try to swing it out more and trust it, but this ends up going way too far and sort of just skipping way back there. That was just terrible and yep, last disc that I'm gonna throw, I'm basically saying this is the last one I'm throwing no matter what. If it's bad, it's bad, but I'm gonna make this putt, so. <laughs> Swing it way out there, looks like it's turned way over, comes back just enough for it to skip off the pavement and hit that sign. So it's sitting back past that sign. I think it ends up being around a 60 footer. I am absolutely gassed at this point. So, you know, got close in the first few and I am running out of energy. I have two putters, so I am running and getting them and going back each time. So, a lot of laps here, a lot of bad putts. You could tell how tired I am. Um, eventually decide to take my jacket off because I am getting sweaty with these layers on and feeling like I'm hindering my reach back. Uh, still missing, trying to put a bit more effort into them. But, you know, gonna keep persevering. I wanted to get this in before it was dark. Finally drain one, left side and I am just out of energy, and I don't have much else to say. That was Vlogmas Day 11. Sorry my camera broke, or my audio broke. I ordered a new cord, so there will be more videos for the rest of the month, so don't worry. See ya.